it makes me feel sick to my stomach, you know, because it makes you wonder how far can he wander off in 15 minutes. Now at 5.30, we are in the second day of a frantic search for a missing nine-year-old autistic boy from Suwannee County. Search crews have been out since 4 Wednesday morning trying to find Leo Walker. Thanks for joining us for the news at 5.30. I'm Abby Maurer. Walker, who you see here, was last seen Wednesday at his home on the 700 block of Duval Street in Live Oak. He is 4 feet 7 inches tall and weighs 87 pounds. Leo has blonde hair and blue eyes. And as Laura Casso reports in our top story, at 5.30, the entire community of Live Oak is trying to find little Leo. And he'll touch that and he hums and um, he does go through a few seconds of a high-pitched scream when he gets excited or scared. Lori Brown is talking about her nephew, little Leo Walker. This nine-year-old autistic boy who loves cartoons and the movie Cars is missing. Authorities say he was last seen here at his Duval Street home around 4 Wednesday morning. We're doing everything that we can do um, to find him and bring him home. Leo was last seen wearing blue shorts, a blue t-shirt, and no shoes. He's four feet, seven inches tall, and weighs 87 pounds. Light brown hair and blue eyes. Right now we have 12 to 13 different uh, law enforcement entities that are assisting with this investigation. The FBI, FDLE, and National Center for Missing and Exploited Children have helicopters, dog teams, and hundreds of volunteers out searching. It's a nightmare, but it shows that we live in a, a small but an outstanding, loving community. People that I don't know are out here, have been out all night looking for him. People like Kathy Clark. She's never met Leo, but says she won't stop looking. It's, it makes me feel sick to my stomach, you know, because it makes you wonder how far can he wander off in 15 minutes. You know, where is he? You hope you turn every corner and he's going to be crouched somewhere, find something. If you have any information at all, contact FDLE or call the Live Oak Police Department. You can also call 911.